Oh man, well, switching over, hype be real. So, yeah, I'm kind of uh, quite looking forward to this actually. Really looking forward to it. So, it's going to start at some point, dude. Turn this down as well a little bit. I think we. I don't know how long they normally last. I think it's about an hour, an hour or so. This should be magical. I'm hoping for something special. If it's anything like the last E3, um, they're going to be saving the. If it's anything like E3 from 2015, when Halo 5 was released, then they'll be saving the Halo stuff till the end. So, here it goes. Excuse me. What's it going? Oh, ooh. Hello. <laughs> That's promising. And let me just make sure I've got the sound on. Sounds really loud, buddy. That's a good start. Let's try and catch up. Come on, dude. Fuck. Maybe it might be th worth switching over to Xbox on YouTube for a more guaranteed... ...thing. Not frustrating at all, dude. Guys, we'll get this sorted in a sec. Do apologise. Because it always wants to be a pain in the arse. Hello, you alright? Why are the pillows in the Pillows. Oh, because they brought them down. Because they wanted to kip on them or sleep on them or something. Sorry. They yeah. Including Logan. Yeah. How the hell did Logan run in? What? Hmm? How the hell did Logan run in? There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Why is the buffering a thing? Honestly. Imagine watching, trying to watch this in four, got it, goddamn 4K. You wouldn't stand a goddamn chance. Come. I'm gonna smash something in a minute. Is that easier? For you to play back? Why? What a piece of shit. Why? <laughs> so we're looking at just doing this. 
My God, I am amazed at how. What's up? Right back, guys. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, new Halo, guys. Uh, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to boot up the Xbox and do it that way. Because at the same time, this is doing my Sweden. One sec, guys. Nothing ever wants to work when you want it to. Ever. Like, ever. Let me just jump on over. Sorry, guys, won't be a sec. Because, as usual, whenever I plan to do anything on Xbox, it just kind of goes to shit, so... Give me a sec. We'll do it the old-fashioned way, we're going to have to stream it off the Xbox instead. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully it will work. Because, um... Complications. Oh, didn't want to top that. You guys doing okay? You're hyped and stuff? I didn't want to miss anything, but I can always go back and watch stuff later on anyway. So... But I'm going to have to stream it off the Xbox, because... It all just goes to shit. Yeah, hopefully a new Halo. I want to be seeing some uh, stuff, man. Watch live. Yes, that's exactly what I want to do. Guys, let me just stream this. And uh, not have issues. Because I don't want issues. Nobody wants issues. But we always get issues. <laughs> well, there we go. Connect. And stream. There we go, guys. High dynamic range. There we go. Wide color gamut. Premium sound like Dolby Atmos. And 4K UHD Blu-ray playback. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Next, compatibility. We knew compatibility was critically important for Xbox One X. And your reaction to 360 hey, backward compatibility has energized hey, for coming back as well, even more. Tiago, thank so you. So right from the start, all of your Xbox One accessories and games will work with Xbox One X. But that's what I hear. If the stream's too loud as well, guys, let me know. Hey, Jester. We wanted more. The game library you have today will look and play even better on Xbox One X with enhanced visual fidelity, anisotropic filtering, and faster load times. Okay. Xbox One X. Okay, that's what they're calling it. Even if you haven't made cool. the jump to a 4K TV yet, we designed this product for you as well. Since Xbox One X enables a technique called super sampling, the new 4K games you see on stage today will look better on your 1080p TV than anything you've seen before. Nice. Okay. And finally, Factions, humans, Prometheans, flood, we banished, and covenant. Now. We need some new stuff, man. We, and we need the flood back. Most technically advanced console ever. It starts with the Scorpio engine. We use 16 nanometer technology to build How a 360 square millimeter chip 
I think this is the last iteration we're going to get over Chester, to be honest. a 384-bit wide memory bus. This is the fastest, most advanced processor to ever power a console. Our premium design means that every millimeter and every component within the console has been architected for maximum power and efficiency. Our aspirations were so high, an industry standard and Guys, I have put this out in 720, just, just so enough. everyone's kind of getting it. The Scorpio engine is so intense because there's some internet's the very so. ever on a console, we're using a liquid-cooled vapor chamber, normally reserved for servers and high-end PC cards. Nice. <clears throat> An engineer on the Xbox hardware team invented a new power management system so innovative, we named it after him. The Hovis method uniquely optimizes every single Xbox One X at the system and component level <coughs> to deliver consistent performance efficiently and elegantly. Now, it's easy to think all this technology and capability will mean That's a, a bigger nice console. That's a nice-looking console, dude. But again, we wanted more. Not that I'm trying to be fanboyish about this, Not but... Not only have we built the oh. most powerful console ever, Xbox One X is the smallest Xbox ever. Oh, okay. This is the system you asked us to build, and it has been a great honor to design and build it for you. Oh, okay. I couldn't be more proud of our team, and I hope you love it as much as we do. Now, I'm hoping it's not going to be that expensive. I'm, I'm thinking. Yeah, let's get Exclusive this stuff, man. World premiere. Um, I think it's going to be. I, I'm hoping like seven, not seven. Um, I'm hoping about four hundred pounds. It's about five hundred US. I swear, if PlayStation gets a new version of the PS4, my head will explode. It's possible, man. It's possible they're going to want it. They, they've. They don't want to be playing catch up. They really, really don't. Dude, that looks beautiful. And um, my chair has been altered. Okay, we're, we're, we're taking the easy recline mode for this. I want to get comfy. Oh, hello. Is this going to be Forza 7 or Forza Horizon 3? It's going to be one of them. Man, I wish I had a 4K TV to watch all this. This would be amazing. Ready and now it's even smaller. Oh boy, harder to fix. <laughs> Don't be like that, Jester. I, I bet you they save the Halo stuff to the end of the conference, though. I bet you, because they've got a lot to prove. Why? I I haven't bought a Forza in a while, but looking at. Such nice graphics. It's hard not to want to. Now nah, they will act like people will pull money out of ass for some people will but Please welcome. I'm lucky that I'll probably be able to get one on the launch. But we'll see. It's all about the titles really much for me. In the automotive world, supercars are debuted at international. Do you think they're going to be dropping a car down from the Frankfurt, ceiling again this year? Paris, Detroit. But through your passion for racing on Xbox and PC, oh, there we Forza go, Forza Motorsports has become the premier partner to the automotive industry. So today, for the first time in history, a flagship supercar is making its world debut here at E3. Here we go. In front of you. Where's it? Oh, okay. This year, we announced a six-year partnership with Porsche. Okay, cool. To bring you I love Porsche. Sorry, guys. It's a game, fact you probably didn't know, but I love Porsche. goddamn Porsche. Porsche shares our vision for the future of racing. Last PS3 was around the size of a case. This car has never been seen. I used to. I used to own Playstations, man. Um, that honor belongs to you exclusively. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may Come I on. present the 2018. Porsche 911 GT2 RS. <gasps> Hello. Beautiful. The GT3 RSs are the pinnacle of this the 911 range. This is not only range. the most aggressive expression of Porsche's legendary design. 
It features the most powerful a bit excited. ever made. Like the Xbox One X, it's a ah, monster. Hello. And with over 4.8 million active players across Xbox and Windows 10, Forza is one of the largest racing communities on the planet. Damn, that you looks nice. made this historic moment possible. Through your passion for racing, the digital and the real worlds are merging in an unprecedented way. So now, let's take Which a look at the Porsche 911 GT2 RS in Forza Motorsports 7 as well. running on Xbox One X. I'm joined on stage by two presenters for our Forza Racing I'm glad they named it something simple though, like the Xbox One X. Uh, I'm Shannon McIntosh, Xbox One X, Xbox One X or the Xbox driver X. and Porsche driving coach. I'll be pushing the GT2 RS to its limits on the sun-baked streets of Dubai. And I'm Verena May, professional racer and stunt Any driver. Any players? I will be fighting to survive here? dynamic weather in the Nurburgring in this Nissan GTR race car. We start with Shannon mm, in her customized yeah. driver on Dubai. Normally the Porsches Using run the a 3.8 liter twin turbo. Sport 7 runs at a native 4K and a rock solid 60 frames. There's the old GT4. T and Rogue. We have the Just additional down. power to I'm deliver to shocking levels of detail. Using super high resolution assets, we've recreated the intense feel of one of the greatest driving roads in the world. Look at the environment, pass. guys. Yeah, that's a nice sounding engine, dude. Motorsport 7, we've reimagined the entire racing have you experience met? on I don't know, have you two met before? Racing is more immersive and dynamic. Ominous skies roll in as car parts rattle and vibrate. Rogue Assassin. We've made racing more epic and grand. Race through living environments featuring spectacular vistas and massive scale. You can see wow. we've made and it's got the dynamic weather dynamic as well. And surprising. Dynamic puddles grow as the storm unleashes its fury. It's more thrilling and competitive. Feel the intense heat grease up your tires as you battle Jeez. your rivals. And it's more beautiful. <laughs> I don't than remember you, sorry. Dark skies open I'm, I'm, I'm sure you two would get along just as the fine. The sun emerges from the clouds for a breathtaking finish. This is what it was about Reason for me, decent titles. Is reborn in Forza. Oh, Rogue, Whether you're not forgettable. On the Xbox One, but anyways, guys, is the stream a bit too loud, or, or does Windows it look okay? PCs, Forza Motorsport 7 is the most technically advanced and comprehensive I know you have a volume control. I know. I'm, just, I'm just trying to, With more than you know. 700 cars, it features the largest collection of Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and Porsches ever assembled. Ever ever assembled. Oh. Today, you are the first Personally, people I want to, see to see the 2018 Halo Porsche 911 GT2 RS. And this I'm, week at E3, like me, uh, you can be the first I'm very to drive interested, Jester, to see what they do so with the DLC content in the next Halo. But I don't know how much information we're going to get. On the Xbox One I don't think they the can't afford to ever not give us something Halo 7. 6 related. Oh, they Thank can't. You. I mean, a teaser, uh, it's got to be a teaser trailer, at uh, the least. Because if we don't get something solid, then it's... Uh, hello, Mr. Spencer. Uh, it's going to be... Insane. I'm going to play a ton of Forza Motorsport 7 when it ships on October 3rd. And when Xbox One X launches, we will all get to experience we need the release Forza date. Motorsport 7 in true 4K I like to at crash 60 in the game. frames per second. I wish you can't turn into Today, a chunk of metal. <laughs> we're going to showcase yeah. the world's greatest creators with a lineup of different types of games, for every type and of thanks game. for joining us for this, guys. I, I, I've been wanting to sort of get people in and stuff. Lineup of games so thank you very much for coming. Shown on our I'm Xbox just sorry about E3 the rough stage. start. I was going to broadcast it on Twitch, but games well, so, from creators um, large and small. Screen on Twitch, but games that inspire and challenge us, games that transport us to new worlds and offer us new perspectives, Damn. and games that push the boundary of our art form. Today. We will feature 42 games here on our stage. What? How long is this conference going to be? 22 games with console exclusivity on Xbox One. We are going to have a long Every go here, guys. Games 
will play great on each member of the Xbox One family. But of course, really, that's not really a topic you want to be talking about, man. On Xbox One X. That's a strange Up next topic to be meeting. Everybody. Is a game from a creative team that built their franchise on Xbox. In 2010, 4A Games worked with us to launch a single-player masterpiece that I played on Xbox 360. Now, I'm honored to bring them back with the premiere of their next work, running in-engine in true 4K. Conference. I'm not too sure. I know the Bethesda World one's on premiere. after this. In like an hour, or well, an hour or so after it finishes, but I'm not too sure, buddy. You'd have to have a look. Fuck PlayStation. To live by our hope is to cease to live. Is this Anthem? I did see a trailer for Anthem earlier. I will throw my phone if Halo game won't be shown at least show some. May I I I they can't afford not to. If they do not take advantage of this, it's it's just no. I refuse to believe that they will not take advantage of this. As I said in the previous video, guys, I, I'm hoping they're trolling. I'm thinking they're trolling. But I'm, you know. I wouldn't take anything away from PlayStation. I mean, look how well PlayStation sold over Xbox currently. It's taken Xbox all this time to try and get catch up in numbers of consoles sold. Hey, my station. Man, that's a, mm. Whoa! Oi! Knocked that off, me. Really killing it with these graphics, man. <laughs> Gun jams just when you don't want it to. Always the way. He's a lovely looking dude, isn't he? Yeah, when I saw the Anthem trailer, it looked like Fallout. Specifically because of the suit, but... I think this is Anthem anyway. Could be something totally different. Could be Fallout 5. I get from the sort of beaten down world, but it doesn't look... Maybe? I don't know. Imitato, I don't think so, no. Definitely not Doom, I don't think. Looks slightly like my mother in law. Joking, joking. I never said that. I'd get in trouble. It's just it just gives it me a fallout feel to it. Good. If that's a Russian helicopter, good point out there, right? It's just from the art type I see, it looks more of an older world feel, so... Yeah, you know, I know I'll agree with that, but... Samuel G, is this actually Halo? Nobody, uh, this is just part of one of the game premiers for the console. More than likely, Halo is going to be appearing at the end of the conference. Ooh, hello. That. Damn. Oh, it has a 28 day later theme playing. Um. I'm glad you guys are here because you're pointing out some interesting stuff. It's looking quite nice though. A little bit. It just screams Fallout to me. It could be Anthem though, I have seen... Oh, hello. W 
we're, we're gonna we're we're about to see in a second what it is. Oh, Metro. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's a follow on from the original. Okay. That looks all right, man. And that's a Russian train. World premiere. Oh, yeah, this is. It's so cool to get through some of this. I mean, some of the games, it's going to be like, eh, okay, I can give it a take, but. We. It'd be nice if you get some surprising are the content. First. Metro looks good, man. First to see the gods. I personally haven't played it, but I heard good the things. I know it was very, very taxing beasts. on. Uh, it was one of those games that would really test your graphics card the in your PC. To guard the soul I have a feeling it was Metro. Evil. I just forgot the name. Oh, I had a good call though. We conquered this land and built an empire. Mm. I'm just looking for some rather unique game concepts. But there are whispers on and it looks the like if they've got that many titles, especially exclusive, then it's going to be interesting. In Assassin's Creed Egypt. Guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep giving out ideas, guys, because it's, it's, it's damn interesting to see in the chat. They are I... The first to call yeah. themselves the Assassins. You're going to see a knife pop out from somewhere. Wow. So this is where they were going with the next Assassin's Creed game. Rise, son of Cairo. Son of Cairo? Was this information that was already leaked? Wow. I've played a few of the Assassin's Creed games, but the older stuff. The older stuff. Origins. Cool. Please welcome from Ubisoft, creative director Jean Gadon. I think this is going to be a long one, guys. My friend told me of this uh, months ago. Okay, I haven't done much. I, I do apologize. I haven't done much research before Ancient the game's going to be hitting it. So. Is the birthplace of modern civilization. I need two minutes. And it is warning also the birthplace to get my illusion failing. Yeah, no reason. I'll try and give you as much warning as I can. Assassin's Creed Origins I reckon they're going to drop a trailer. The I, I think I'm for hoping. For an epic gaming adventure, Egypt, three thousand years of history Ubisoft and mystery can pull off at the tip of your fingers. Some good games, but Assassin's Creed Origins is also the story of one man. But they picked a Frenchman Bayek. to do the pitch. Bayek is the last okay. Medjay, Fair enough. The protector of his community, an Egyptian sheriff, if you like, and he struggled. Against the dark forces that corrupt oh, but you fix Egypt, we lead our to the instead of, of making new games. <laughs> but recreating ancient Egypt, going back so far in time. Oh, thanks for the uh, sub, Samuel. Cheers, to buddy. To rethink and expand our gameplay mechanics, we added many RPG elements to a huge systemic world, more detailed and alive than ever before. You'll probably find there's some people there so with today, lotion. We are very and a couple of tissues. To show you what the Get game excited about like what's coming. On Xbox, Xbox One X Xbox running what? in 4K. And now, just for you, Bayek is coming back to Siwa, his hometown, to kill the fake oracle, Medunamun. World premiere. Fix For Honor. We're, I heard some terrible things about For Honor. I really, really did. On one of uh, Lagundo's live streams, there was um, uh, there's a guy that streams with him and does the podcast, and um, ha, oh, eh. dude, there's nothing wrong with the French. They're cool. Then again, everyone's cool to me, so. It's it's a damn pretty looking game. It depends how it looks across the rest of the ranges, though. That's the thing. It's all going well, stuff looking amazing on the Xbox One X, but it's how it's going to look ah, on, the other Siwa, top, on the other my home, the incarnations of the Xbox, really, doesn't it? The centurion is open. Our 
It kind of shows how many little games I actually play on the Xbox, to be honest. This year, Nessa Taylor, GTA. Some Red Dead Redemption 2 stuff would be nice, I will say. Red, the first Red Dead Redemption was amazing. Looks very pretty. I'm still kind of blown away at the fours and stuff. I wish I had a 4K TV to put this on. This temple resembles a fortress. What has Ryan, happened? That's a nice little feature. Get out of my way. I liked Assassin's Creed 2 Brotherhood and Black Flag. The other ones were meh. Yeah. I've got a friend at work that actually loves Assassin's Creed. There and, you are. Um, I imagine Medunamon. he would be uh, the next masked one on my list. I think Black Flag was the last one he thought was actually half good, so. Now it is my turn to tip the balance of Anubis. That signature run is uh, something, isn't it? Hey, Butch. Did they say the price? They haven't announced the price yet. I imagine the price is going to be later, of all things. That'll be the last thing they mention. I'm, I'm going to predict, I think it's going to be about £400 over here, I reckon that you're going to be talking 500, sorry, 550 over by you. Better Halo, be 6, careful here. Halo 6 will probably be the last thing they do in the conference, buddy. I, should go drop I hope not, but it's probably going to be. Um, I don't know if you're a game called Rome. Um, but played a long ass time ago, but that game needed a sequel. It was on the PS2. Uh, fine, bro. Hey, anything's possible. Anything is possible. It looks, it looks like it's reasonably well thought out. It's kind of like a, a Destiny 2 style kind of. Yeah, man. Better be worth it. I love Assassin's Creed Park. The, the whole movement and stuff if of Assassin's Creed is, dead, please, is nice. It is too dangerous. It will pass for now. I'm hoping it's going to be worth it. Man. It's going to need a few upgrades in terms of a lot of people are going to need to buy 4K TV. But prices and stuff like those have come down reasonably well over here. So. Metunamon. Very nicely done, this. Personally, I'm a Hitman fan as well. So. <laughs> Nothing like pulling people off a roof. Just to get your point across. I swear, if you fight mummies, I'm done. <laughs> well, if you fight giant ass snakes. There's the signature you knife takedown. Um, yeah, if we're going to fight giant ass snakes, I imagine the Maven mum is here too. Do you know what I might actually like to see? An updated version of Assassin's Creed set in modern day times, but with the old school twist, which I thought would be cool. Smooth gameplay, but not my style. I prefer the originals. Too much stuff for me. Yeah, I'd agree. Sometimes the simplistic nature of things. Hello. How can you guide the arrow? That's a pretty nice feature, guiding the arrow itself. I wonder if this is going to be kind of set open worldy. Open worldy would be good. No, that's cool. That's cool. It's a nice little smooth looking title, but then again. Until you see proper. At Xbox, we've always believed in the power of games to unite us all. I did see a snake book coming. Today, <laughs> of gamers not yeah. only play together, just a, create you together, scare me sometimes, and man. watch together. A whole new um, genre of games has emerged, it. designed for both the player you know, and the community. And with it's Mixer, we're but innovating new know. features to make these experiences be even better. This one's special. Of all the games in this genre, here is one that the world is having as much fun watching as they are playing. 
And I can tell you that includes many of us at Team Xbox. I think it's Phil Spencer's actually a dude that actually knows what he's doing as well. The creative director of Player Battlegrounds is a gamer turned developer Ooh. who designed this game together with a passionate community. Please welcome Player Unknown himself, Brendan Green. New, new thing was just uh, too much. I kind of get that. I feel a little bit like that with Halo 5. Thanks, Phil. Good afternoon, everyone. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is a multiplayer battle royale where you must fight against a hundred other players. I wish Halo wasn't to be the, the end, but that's where I feel like it's going to be because that's what they did at the last is to bring uh, the EV Conference 2015 and right to the end. And deliver a great experience across all players Xbox One devices. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Our development is truly this? community driven, and we owe much of our success to everyone who's given us feedback over the past year. With over 3 million PC players to date, Creed. we can't wait to bring Player Unknown's Battlegrounds exclusively <laughs> to Xbox One later this year with an update Just, for Xbox uh, One X enhancements on, shipping so with the final fine. version. See you on the Battlegrounds, everyone. Exclusive. It's going to be a long conference, man. Final PC can break the consoles down on the True. That may have been a Russian sign, Rogue. <laughs> oh, this looks very survivalish. That's pretty badass. Straight through the door. Some of it's looking alright, I see. I'm hoping we get some Red Dead 2 stuff. I really hope we get some Red Dead 2 stuff. <laughs> I'm playing with Halo, waiting for Halo. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of them are taking advantage of these massive open world games. It's good to see. Not as sexy graphics as PC, but that's to be... No, no, no. Well, I mean, like I say, consoles are always going to lag behind PCs. They've announced some stuff for the Scorpio at the start of the... Uh, frying pan. Really? A frying pan? They've, an they've, an they've announced some at the back end. Hey, Brian. Exclusive. Yeah, the, the Scorpio was always going to be like an offline main consoles did. I mean, the graphics card that I've got on my PC currently is better than what you get in the Scorpio already. What is this? I knew I was going to see some funky titles, man. Some funky stuff. Is this kind of like Minecraft, but on a mental scale? Sit on your ass, mate. Mate, I am sat. I am sat on my ass with you, but wow. Simple graphics, but looks entertaining. Whoa. Deep Rock Galactic. Danger, darkness, and dwarfs. I knew they were gonna have some kind of screwy games. Exclusive. Man. <laughs> that one guy in the audience clapping at the back. Well, it's not Red Dead because there's a truck parked there. <laughs> I'm just looking for some stuff that's going to blow me away. What would you do if the world you knew was gone? It's, it's funny, man, because you just get the one guy clapping the by himself. That nobody wanted the to bring. Because <laughs> he does that. How would you protect yourself and the ones you love? 
when the protectors can't even save themselves. Uh, yes, I saw gameplay from this. It was it uh, Evil Dead Rising or something. I, I, because literally you saw hordes. It was like World War Z, hordish. Hopefully we'll see some gameplay for that in a bit. Man, that was some shooting. Last truck, get in. If it's the same game I saw with the amazing trailer I previously saw, where you've got the American Muscle Car going through the gas station, taking a few of the zombies out, that looked amazing. This is an open Our world, this isn't who belongs. one massive Thanks. hordes chasing the guy around it. Okay, it's not the same one. Okay. How will you choose a place to call it kind of gives, It's kind of like a GTA environment, but zombie-based, surely. How will you build it? At the top of the silo. Okay. This looks very real Work world, together, real life, defended. which is quite cool. From the terror, just outside the walls. Oh, lovely, lovely. When you get hungry, cold, what risks will you take? What mistakes? I thought this would be amazing make? online. Uh, you know the snippet of the only that gameplay God is where he kept running from the massive apart. horde. Will you end the life Wait. of naked bald zombies? Please. This is our only one, but we need everybody we've got. That reminds me of never. Wow, that dude needs to. Lose a few pounds. <laughs> nice. Why? Wow. No, no, damn it! When you get in too deep and realize no one gets a second chance. No! <laughs> Holy hell! Will you find the strength to carry on? I was not expecting that. Wow, that was that was something else. In this Holy world shit. of the living and the dead. <clears throat> yeah, but let's just How crack on. You it's just been, you know, let's not say a prayer or anything or do do anything, you know, good send off. Just been ripped in half, but we'll we'll just carry on. No worries. <laughs> well, they have bombers, belchers, and brutes. Could it be that? Oh, state of decay. Okay. Could Exclusive. <clears throat> I'm looking for some fun indie games too. It'd be nice. <gasps> Something kind of looks like this because uh, uh, it's like quirky stuff. Okay, that's a good start. Oh, is this kind of like a survivor? 
One player remaining. Prison escape. There were Prisoners? following Bloody Marrow. There's only two players left in this particular map. Those tracks are leading up, but that tree is going to give them direct information. That red outline, there's a mortal unicorn, and he's letting okay, this guy seems very angry. Now. Looks like he might be crafting or something, but what is this that Bloody Marrow's going to do? Getting ever closer, join that beeline, and now he's going to cloak it up. Is he going to walk in through the front door or what? Looks like he's going to sneak in on the back window. Here we go. Shot in the back. That's one twice. Immortal's in trouble. Somebody from Mixer decided to chime in. That invulnerability bubble. Yeah, no, it's, it's not looking to what I thought it was going to be. There we go. The next strike up Bloody Barrel. Bouncing it up far. And there we go. Oh, that was going to do the damage to the arrow to the belly. That's going to be the win for Bloody Barrel. Bloody Barrel. It sounds pretty cool with him going like, going like ham, but... Pro the Darwin Project. Okay, so evolution has to take some form in it. Hunger Games, maybe. Oh god. Oh, okay. There's some Minecraft stuff. This will be the only time you ever see Minecraft on my channel. When the hype is real. Oh, what a shitty copy of Overwatch. I was kind of getting that vibe, man. To be honest, in a tie. Kind of getting the whole. Yeah, you're never going to see Minecraft on my channel ever again. Other than this, and maybe the next E3 conference, but... Um, just avert your eyes for the next few minutes. Because this is giving me a headache already. <laughs> when the hype is real. <laughs> Please don't do that, buddy. It's cringy. It's very, very cringy, but not, not, not life-taking. From Mo Yang. Oh, they're Brand gonna go further into Leo it. Winters. Oh, that's a touch. <laughs> this summer, millions of Minecraft players will be able to play together on the device of their choice for the first time. Just um, yeah. Xbox Live Shoot will me. unite the global Minecraft community across mobile. VR, it's a very popular Windows brand, NPCs, and it's worth billions, and but... And consoles. But, I... no. Just, no. As part of Able this to effort, we're excited two. to welcome yeah. player-made skins, maps, textures, I think it would probably be the first thing that's ever been cross-compatible across because everything. Because we know that the amazing content you create makes Minecraft even that's better. That's something I've always wanted to increase player bases this on both fall, consoles. Minecraft will receive if a PlayStation and that brings more Xbox could be to the on game. the same servers or but connect and have the same compatibility, there. that would be awesome. With all this talk about graphics, we're taking things one step further. Today, we're revealing a new look for Minecraft that we're super duper excited oh, for you to super try duper. out. One that's inspired by the power of Xbox One X and available this fall. Okay. Let's check it out. Okay. Super duper graphics pack. I'm sure it's something they'll charge you for. Um, I think I... Sorry, I got an itch. Um... <laughs> I don't know. And that voice, it makes me want to vomit. And that smile, it's haunting. It's a little creepy. That's why you never see me smile, dude. Welcoming this fall. I don't know why it's popular, and I get why it's popular, but do I understand? No. Next exclusive, please. Come on. Minecraft in 4K. When the Minecraft team showed me the first version of the game in 4K, I was blown away. Mojang is a great example of a studio that started something new and different that led to a global phenomenon. That's a pretty cool t-shirt, actually. At Xbox, we're searching for games that are fresh, new, 
and in some cases familiar. Something has to be better than that. That means May any game after that, that has to be better. third-party franchises you want to play are there for you on Xbox One. Of course, you'll find these great games <laughs> in the Xbox even shit. Store available for pre-order <laughs> today. But bringing the biggest blockbuster franchise is just one part of the job. Delivering broad, diverse, and new games to Xbox means searching to find I'm unique hoping, games I'm from hoping. creators around Come the on. world that will surprise and delight. I don't really just want to see Halo to me, like now. These next few games do just that. I want to see like Halo Starting now. Starting with the game I got to play on a recent trip to Japan. It's hilarious, a little crazy, and a whole lot of fun. Let's take a look at it. Oh, thanks World for the sub, Premier. Bill. Thank you. Okay. This I don't mind watching. This I don't mind, because Dragon Ball is awesome. I watched this as a kid, and I can't tell you. I'm going to go into nerd mode right now. None of this Xenoverse, no matter that. Oh, hello. How, how amazing does that look? Kame, Hame. I'm going all nerdy now. <laughs> Consid yeah, it's going to be a Dragon Ball Z title, I guarantee, because we only saw up to Super Saiyan 3. It's nerdy, I know that. <laughs> it's very nerdy, I know that. Man, I love all this stuff. It's some genuinely cool games. If it plays smooth, I will be impressed. Yeah. Actually, just thinking about this, I really want to see some Red Dead Redemption 2 stuff. I really do. I, uh, the, uh, Red Dead Redemption, playing in the Old West and stuff, it, it, it was great. Some beautiful looking environments. I can't help but think it would look even better in 4K. <laughs> Coming from another stream, sorry. No, that's alright, let's go. Thanks for dropping by. Sorry, David Attenborough. Let's read the trailer. He's got one of those voices, hasn't he? Is this. Shh. Okay, no. Looks like a Japanese toll from the styling. Damn. Fast paced. So I'm trying to find I think you might be along, right, along the right lines of Final Fantasy from the um, system. The art style and stuff, and how the enemies actually look, it does look Final Fantasy ish. Actually, I don't know what's better, the fact that I hadn't actually done any research going into this so I'm actually surprised by what I see, or not. Oh, Harpy. I remember the Black Desert. And a completely original title from the looks of it. Exclusive. This is going to be a long conference, guys, so... And here was me thinking that the actual lineup wasn't actually going to be as good this year. We've seen some okay, solid, uh, decent games now. This looks like another indie game. You guys ever play Monkey Island? I love that bloody thing. This kind of seems like a similar sort of thing. 
A dumb name. Hmm. Interesting, but not my thing. Oh, this is going to be a really old... I, d um, I don't know how about the whole pixelated art style. Or the whole two-dimensional bit. Never been a massive fan, but... But they've got to, they've got to have games to suit everyone, so... You like the look of this imitator? Maybe, Exclusive. maybe. Wait, wait until the Halo stuff comes. I'm gonna lose my shit. I really want to lose my shit. It better be one hell of an announcement. There's some strange titles, dude. This is the title you like the look of? Damn, that's some euphoric shit. Holy hell. Wow. I'm pretty sure I haven't taken any drugs today. Wow. Colourful. I think it's a music-based title. The Artful Escape. Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right. That's better. What's this? Nothing like a bit of blood and gore, hey? Devil May Cry? Oh no, or oh, possibly. Definitely got a dark feel to it. Actually, yeah, from the size of the swords and stuff, yes. Have any of you guys actually played the new Final Fantasy combat system? <laughs> Looks like my Saturday night. <laughs> oh god, my eyes need bleach from that year. Godvin. Co sorry, Code Vein. Okay. We've scoured the globe, meeting with creative artists and development teams. Oh, and I'm I bet often you have, surprised Mr. Spencer. and humbled by their work. Whether it's a I story that can only be born of a different land, metal or artistic Halo. design and storytelling wow, that like a noob. Don't moment feel like a noob, man. can capture your imagination and inspire. I don't think I've got it yet either, so don't worry There's about it. much to be learned by looking beyond borders. Our first party is also a place of innovation and creativity. Today, Urg, I'm well excited fun. to share <laughs> with you movies. an extended look at never-before-seen gameplay from Rare's shared world adventure, Sea of Thieves. Okay, this was one of the titles that actually looked interesting to me, but but it's, it's something that I, I would never normally go for. But it looked interesting, so ah, the joy of a new voyage far across the Sea of Thieves. Just you, Are you guys looking the forward to this one? World, and, oh, well, it's not just you. She's here too. Oh, and <laughs> this guy's here. But, but but the point is, this is a shared world, right for exploring and raiding with your fine pirate crew. Look at them! Scurrying around, making themselves useful. That's what we like to see. <laughs> I don't like it when there's no sort of comedy thrown in as well. The world of Sea of Thieves seethes with possibilities, with adventures skulking above and below the waves. All you have to do is jump in and up. Oh, there she goes. Oh, why? A okay. few things tempt a pirate like the siren song of a lootable shipwreck. Careful though, there could be the anything there. The Literally, Stranding. there could be anything. We haven't finished designing it yet. That was not Joking. To be. They've cancelled a couple of games, to be fair. Um, ah, sunken treasure. So the it's one like that actually was interesting to me was uh, Scalebound, and they cancelled it. 
and the latest fable, but they cancelled it. I wasn't massively keen on what they were trying to do with the latest fable, but every player's decisions and discoveries are different. Them. But however you plan on seeking your fortune, it pays to be prepared. For gigantic lumps of iron, these are surprisingly portable. <laughs> Amazing workmanship. Anyway, better get them back on board while the coast is clear. There's really no sense in pushing your luck down here. Yeah, I was a little bit gutted about some of the tiles that they dropped. But to be fair, it looks like they've... They're not shorter. Now that is not a beast you want to pick a fight with. <laughs> yes, it's possible to take on these toothy terrors of the deep, but you're not much used to your crew bitten in two. Not really. <laughs> you nick the other guy's chest. Sometimes a tactical retreat is perfectly acceptable. In the spirit of he that legendary pirate the game, it's just uh, pathetic game. Focus on developing more than trailers. Oh, fair enough. What do you have in? Thank Damn. You for I was hoping somebody got bit in half by a shark. Of celebration or shared wonder. But for now, store your hard-earned loot and enjoy the voyage. It's it's a cool looking game. I just don't think when graphically it looks as. Sands, I think they've had to dumb the graphics down a little hands. bit. No, well, that's typical. Oh, look! Here we are at for Devil's it, uh, Nice transition. Be as way. big as it's going to be. And you can so always tell when they kind of graphically knock stuff down. The island shore, then they're going for a big open world. So. And coves, cliff tops and caverns. Every region has its very own landmarks, and over time, you'll uncover hidden shortcuts. Well, that makes me kind of get that World of Warcraft vibe from this. will steal your grog-soaked breath away. And yes, sometimes you'll encounter people who, for whatever reason, would like to blow you into little pieces. That's pirating for you. Keep that pistol primed, because you'll also face the roaming like remains the of the that came before you. Yeah, no, it's quite cool. Short in pursuit of their own legends. Oh wow. Okay. Skeletons have guns now as well, apparently. An afterlife of fighting and troublemaking until all your bits fall off. It's what they would have wanted. <laughs> now, make sure your crewmates all have a part to play. <laughs> That's yep, quite cool. That and look, he brought the riddle map. <laughs> Only one way to travel, boy cannon. <laughs> where there is no sky, it lies in wait for a light held high. Hmm. Right, well, that's got to be around here somewhere. But if you've got a bad feeling, you can always leave someone on board to brace the ship for a speedy getaway. Decisions, decisions. Ah, looks like they've sniffed out that place where there is no sky. It's a bit nuts, Time to pull your resources as you plunge into the unknown. It would be easy to come what would your pirate these name be, guys? Caves. You don't want to wander off track. Unless, of course, an interesting speed. pirate name should lie to be. the chat telling you what to do anyway. Don't mind that. It's probably nothing. It's just <laughs> kids. Yeah, 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 no. Blood, massive octopus, no, nothing at all. Of course, the premier is quite cool, isn't it? just lying around to be claimed by any old drunken bumbler. You'll need to watch out for likely locations, following your map, clues, and your instincts to make light work of each new mystery. Light work. <laughs> yeah. Lantern joke there. You're welcome. Anyway, step 11 paces northwest through the gloom. Dig my chest from its tomb. Hmm. And with that, we're one step closer to payday. It's, um, then again, it looks like an interesting the tile. But then again, undisturbed stuff like this can be rather misleading to win the end result. I mean, look at No Man's Sky. That has to be the spot. I would be you Captain can practically Fairly. taste the treasure. Good call on the double duty shot. I'd be Captain too. Nobeard. That storm outside. Because I can't grow on for shields. <laughs> well, Captain Fuzz. That'd be cool. Ah, very nice. Is this where you get shot by your fellow course, pirates for your treasure? With treasure, as a rule, is that the owners really like to hang on to it. If you've got your hands full, it's up to your crew to watch your back. And while they're doing that, it's quite oh, enjoying this actually. Strategic withdrawal with the loot. Nope, they're not, not leaving them behind. That's it. Even Treasure's out. all that matters, people. Don't stop. Keep going. Almost there. Watch that next step. It's a doozy. 
It's actually narrated quite well, this is. Now that's a rescue! <laughs> Nice. It actually looks quite cool. I imagine the uh, the DLC and stuff could be, or Captain Drugs, um, could be quite epic actually. Looks like a title you could do a lot with. Because a lot of these titles you have to be able to future-proof them. Consistent DLC. If you can regularly beat the odds and get chess back to your ship, you'll be able to turn a tidy profit by trading the minute and I swear, if Halo, if, just if, the if, tiny if, if the Halo moves, storm the Halo, peace. whatever they're doing, is that bad, I'm gonna be, um, you're gonna see an interesting reaction from me later, guys. And it will, it will be like the last thing they do of the night. Uh, my cat's whisker just got, dude, how did that happen? Trying to set fire to your pussy, are you? Pun intended. <laughs> Man, this looks pretty cool. No way. Hello. Well, that's how you get from one ship to another, guys. All pirate life is here on the Sea of Thieves, that's and nuts. you can live yours however you want. So rally it's, your crew. It's a pretty cool-looking game. It is. Swear your own. But like I say, you could have that No Man's Sky vibe and all this could be for nothing. But Just until you see it, you don't try know. Try not to be it. this one. Oh god, there's the shark. <laughs> um, a lighter was set off in his face and he didn't... Oh, dude, he's alright. Exclusive. Okay, this is gonna... I, I've seen some I've seen some game trailer footage of this one. Uh, it's a little bit It's a little bit what's the word I was gonna use to describe this game? It's kinda like a really thinking strategy kind of thing. But they haven't given much away and they haven't given much away there either. Exclusive world premiere. <laughs> What's this? Hmm. I was just about to say, is that Knuckles from Sonic? But it's not. <laughs> ah. It was only the end of his eyebrows, which is so right. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's one of those. Yeah, fair enough. Would it be so good now if he just kind of went, oh, here's a shotgun, and kill something? Definitely not my sort of game, but it may interest somebody out there. All this cuteness is hurting my eyes. Come on, dude. Next. This one kind of like the down ends of the... <laughs> my opponent name would be Captain Lock. That's not even funny, Matata. It's not even funny. 
Come <laughs> It's just not my god. Uh, not because of luck or an absolute legend. Dude, if you. I just couldn't get down with the whole lock campaign thing. I think 343 were trying to push. I think, they, depending on the reception, I think they were trying to push a new main character. Okay. Now give me some death, blood, Exclusive. gore and stuff, because that was too much cuteness. Oh, okay. This will be a throwback to one of the indie games, and if I remember it's not Jughead, it's, um, let's just see. Yep, there we go. Cuphead, not Jughead. Cuphead. Oh, it's good. <laughs> I'm sorry if I grew up a cop. Um, this looked quite. This looked like quite a cool game. Uh, my comedic pirate name would be Captain Winks. My first name, Tiddly. <laughs> Exclusive. The the other th the other game I'm kind of looking for. How many how many games have been shown? Uh, based. Oh God, we're on a goddess. Yes, 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 yes. This was it. Crackdown three. Uh, the, uh, I know. Oh yeah, I've got to see this. Completely. We're gonna Terry Crews. Because this is far from over. In fact, it's only just this just got amazing. That's I think they've done about 15 you. games you so far, tell. buddy. Now you need the tech. Today, oh, you this just grenades. this this shit Tomorrow just got real people. Be throwing cars. Forget dropping bombs. Oh. Dropping buildings. <laughs> Completely destructible environment, <laughs> apparently. <Time to> stop. <laughs> Let's fight criminal. I love Terry Crews, dude. I have been wanting to see this for a while. Two more places a nice touch as well. I hope there's an amazing multiplayer to this. It's one of the titles that I've been wanting to see him do. You getting this? Based? Maybe me too, but. The best thing about this was leveling up. Just getting bigger and jumping higher. And laying the goddamn smart down, dude. Some people never have trouble. That's why they don't know what the struggle is. I don't pay the cost. Let's hope we see some buildings coming down. Hey Mickey. So many explosions. Yes. Everything goes boom. That looks that looks damn good from that dude. Looks damn good. Gonna see some good titles hopefully towards the end of this. We better be seeing some Halo soon, because what are we? An hour and 15 in? I imagine it's coming. And we don't want to no bullshit people. We want we want some games. We we want some not some DLC, not some Pelican, not of that. We want some we want some solid shit. 
Sorry for betraying you and Hannah Butler. Ah, it's okay, man. It's all water on the bridge, Mickey. Don't worry about it. Observer? Why? Robocraft. Where Papa Hennef? <laughs> There's a lot of tiles, a lot of tiles. Interesting stuff, man, but I'm, I'm kind of getting to the point now where I want to be seeing some later. Dark or light? Come on now, don't be teasing me. Directed by Michael Bay. They should have the alien isolation, I saw the movie, by the way. What did you think of the movie? Just out of interest. At Xbox, it's not just about finding creative artists. It's about empowering them and nurturing them, helping on, shine dude. a light on their work. Blazer Making got my lotion on stuff. For them to build and share their creations. Dude, That's I really, really want to see what they've got going on, man. So important to us. The Halo the thing's has just released over 500 games on Xbox One and Windows 10. My reaction is going to be program. something like, depending on and what. This is not just a milestone for the program. Depending and the on what developer community. The movie was meant. It's a milestone. I didn't. I didn't enjoy Prometheus. Who loved to be great honest. Games. I was expecting better origin. Sorry, better I origins for the game. Today but why it's that's so another thing for another time. Gamer on Xbox. Action, adventure, story. Skill, surprise. How much do they have to These say? Next few it's games so bring it all together. That's right. Let's start with a game whose stylistic approach alone Just makes the, it uh, sorry, uh, very special. Joe's, please don't be typing stuff like that in the chat. Exclusive. I'm, I'm not. Um, I've, I really don't want that in my chat, but. The dark is older than the light. Okay, what we got? Oh, at last the day dawned. Is this? Rose with this first light. I've seen this, especially with the big whale in the background. Uh, I saw footage of this months ago. But that light was a bit. But you only saw snippets on the trailer. Only fleeting. Apparently, this is a game where you can't actually communicate with each other. Anyway. Like in game and stuff. But After lifetimes, the light grows. And the maps are meant to be huge. Faint and vulnerable. This actually looked really good. Really in depth. It actually made you feel about the world as well. We will live in the new light rather than just survive in the dark. Hmm. No, no, to be fair, but this looks quite nice. This rebirth will end our wandering. Why? She doesn't really look like somebody you want to meet on a Saturday night. Why? It's kind of like a bit of Dark Souls, a bit of Ash, and that was it. Looks like a really cool game. A lot of dark horror and emotion for this. No, 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 World premiere. Oh, here we go. Come on. Final Fantasy? Is it? Or not? Okay, I see a skin board. Maybe not. Guys, very chilled. Found somebody to push. Okay, but okay. I feel numb. I What's feel this gonna be? numb in this case. Skateboarding tile? I feel numb. I feel numb. Oh, that was my dealer. <laughs> Oh no, it's um... 
it's going to be one of those decision based games that affects the outcome at the end and you've got different paths to follow I do like stuff like this Thought-provoking, where your actions... Telltale? Yeah. I don't know if it's Telltale, but... I do like stuff like this, where your impact... Your... The decisions you make... Impact the rest of the game. I like stuff like that. Not The Last of Us. Uh, not The Last of Us, the... Um... Monolith Productions. Oh Vice god, what was the free game the on Xbox Live? Michael De Platter. Oh, is this Shadow of Mordor? Shadow of War, sorry, with Lurth. Remember me? You tried to humiliate me. You left your mark on me, but it didn't work. You burned my mind. Die. I'll kill you. Until this moment, you are This looked quite nice. Thought to it as uh, an updated graphics design. Yes, sorry, the walking. Yeah, that's what the game was about, didn't it? This looks pretty cool. Any, uh... I, I, I can't be your dad, I'm sorry. I've had enough of your I've got enough kids, bruise. mate. <laughs> so now I'm gonna kill you for all these orcs to see. I always said you were an optimist. Know what that is, mate? It's about sizing up a situation that's bloody impossible and saying, yeah, all right, I'll have a go. <laughs> I'm exactly the same way. <laughs> Well, um, that that's an interesting start. I love him. Bruce killed the boss. Come on, lads. In Shadow of Mordor, we introduced a way to create unique personal stories for everyone. The player. the gameplay looks really good in this. War, I like Bruce's cool. <laughs> Two new features we're really excited about are well, thanks very much for stopping by uh, to the stream, guys. Fortresses. Here, if you do get the chance to drop a like, or a sub, or whichever. And let me know what you're going to be thinking army. your Halo, Halo prediction's going to be. If we're going to be seeing anything at all, whether we've been trolled. 343 better. Or I'm personally going to be driving down to 343 myself. Wondering what the hell's going to be going on. No, that's Australian, that is, buddy. To take me down. Nice one, Ranger. Oh, through the legs. Why? This has never happened to me before. I'm. Dark Lord, same thing really. <laughs> it results me ripping spines out, which I like to do anyway. So either way's a win. A fine addition to our army. Name's Bruce. From here on out, I will be your shadow. Like, no one gets yeah. to you without my say so. Don't worry about my enemies. Is that for you? Follow. Maybe eventually. it could be. You want to plant your flag? But In that was cool. Mordor, that was. Man. You'll need to do it deep. There's a fortress nearby. They say it's ruled by a two-headed troll, big as a mountain and deadly smart. Which, well, I guess he'd have to be given the two heads. You <laughs> take him down. You'll send a message to Sauron and get yourself some nice new digs as part of the bargain. I'm not going to do this. Nice-looking nice game, man. Gather your troops. We'll do. Ooh, just make sure you let me pop his heads off, won't ya? <laughs> that guy is awesome. So we already have a few loyal followers in that our army. That guy is really awesome. And recruiting Bruce means we're ready to assault the Bruce fortress the and overthrow the overlord. Name's Bruce. 
We're enormously expanding the open world of Mordor to new regions like Saragost and Kirith Ungol. Mordor's a massive, living, breathing world filled with orc society, tribes and wildlife, as well as stories and secrets. You crave me in two. Any other orc would have died, but I survived. More than that, I thrived. My brothers put me back together, stronger than ever. But they didn't make me this into looks what nice, I am. Man. You did. Oh, you created the machine. Look at this. No! We need to take a by the machine. He tracked us across Mordor seeking vengeance. I Jess, I Jesse, I I hope so, man. I I really, really hope there's something just to keep the faith alive. I like the recruiting aspect of this is quite killing important. the machine will dominate him, so we can take advantage of his abilities during the fortress assault. You take out the overlord. But before we charge headfirst into battle, we should plan our yeah, attack and select our followers. Everything looking okay now? Official Halo game. My black speech is not pay to win. <laughs> yeah. Which is a pain in the ass, but to hazard a case, he said you're all gonna die horribly. <laughs> yeah, my kind of black. <laughs> well, I will handle the. I like Bruce. You Bruce is cool. Focus on the defenders. To find focus. Are they just the cannon fodder? Yeah. There You've always got a cannon. Limited ways to forge your story and conquer Mordor in Shadow of War, and we can't wait to show you more this week at E3. Thank you very much. I so wish it was E3 trying some of these games. World premiere. Okay. I'm hoping we kind of get some tidbit, some tidbit or something. Okay, there's a guy with a piano. Uh, Blaze, hopefully in. I'll teach you pro ways and do it. Call me around as well. Uh, yeah, I may do a bit more Call of Duty, man. Who else heard the little Hulk in that roar? Yeah, no, good shout out there, uh, Jester. Some very beautiful looking games. So, but you're getting like, seriously? Or are you just trolling me? Are you trolling me, Justin? Hulk smash. One of my favourite scenes ever was in the first Avengers where Loki gets smashed to shit. Puny God. <laughs> Wow, it looks... That's really nice. Sometimes the simplest of looking stuff looks nice, man. Uh, I'm not too sure, but I'm just about to find out. I think we're just about to see. It's kind of looks like Oki, to be fair. Which is one of the titles for... Xbox Sony? It's very moving, to be fair, Tartan. Looks nice. I wonder if it's a follow on from Oki. Wow, it could be. Yeah, 
uh, yeah, I think it's a follow-on from Oki in the... Uh... I could be wrong. It's called Owl. Uh, oh no, Ori! That's what I was going for, Ori. It's a continuation on from that, a sequel, I believe. It was a very, very sad game the last time. I won't spoil Ori it for you, but... Ori affirms my belief in the beauty, artistry, and heart within the art of gaming. There we go. We believe that games, like books, movies, and music, Give me should be celebrated and enjoyed by countless generations. We're passionate talking about something preserving up. and celebrating the Come games on. you own, the classics of the past, and the genres you love to play. That's why two years ago, we launched the Xbox Backwards compatibility, Backward compatibility program to bring Xbox 360 games forest, uh, to was, your yeah, Xbox Yeah, that was the original, buddy. And we've seen I tremendous see growth in the program. Yeah, it was a good Today, game. Today, really, really our good. library of games stands at 385 titles. And over half of Xbox One gamers have played a backward compatible game. But I've heard your feedback, and you want more. I know. Today, I'm pleased to announce an exciting expansion to the program. Oh. <laughs> They're taking it back to the original Xbox. Okay. That's going to make a lot of people happy. engineers are working hard to bring us some of your favorite original Xbox game to today's Xbox One library, <laughs> including <laughs> a fan favorite that I'm asked about often by the community. The, this is coming. Crimson Sky. Might check it out and so. There you go. And it looks great. And like the Xbox 360 games, OG games will look better and play better Good old across the Xbox <laughs> yeah. One family. We'll have more to share about this program <laughs> when it launches later this year. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? There's some cool titles. I'm proud man. of the library of games available today on Xbox One. All of them will benefit from the performance and power when you play them on Xbox One X. But we won't stop there. Ooh, tricky. I'm excited to announce that if you own Gears of War 4, Forza Horizon 3, Killer Instinct, Halo Wars 2, or Minecraft will pre be providing 4K updates to these titles for free. Okay. And we already have oh, no, the stream seems okay to titles be honest, from our third-party partners Justin. that are planning to provide free updates as part of our Xbox One X Enhanced program. Titles like Final Fantasy 15. Resident Evil 7, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands, cool. and Rocket League, just to name a few. This means you probably already have a large library of titles that you own today that will automatically get better on Xbox One X. <laughs> today, we showcase them, some of the world's greatest TV. creators with a lineup of different types of games for every type that of game. Dragon Ball title we looks showed you so the good. largest and most diverse lineup of new games. Yeah, don't, don't worry, Tom, in the same position, buddy. Stage. Let's from get saving, every corner man. of the globe, from developers large and small, 42 games, if they drop no Halo news, man, I'm going to be gutted. Absolutely on gutted. Xbox One. He, he, he's so empowering when he says this stuff, isn't he? And you're also going to be able to play all of the biggest cross-platform blockbusters on, on Xbox okay. One. And every game will play great across the we'll Xbox One We're getting to the end, man. We're like an hour and 34 minutes and in, on so... Xbox One X I'm, I'm expecting some Halo news very shortly. ...even better. And if there's not... So if you haven't joined the Xbox yeah, One go. family, now's the time. This week, you'll find Xbox One S available in the U.S. for $249. And on November 7th, we'll begin worldwide rollout of Xbox One X. November the 7th? The most powerful console Okay, so now we have the date. Now we have the date. Be the first 
to experience unrivaled power and performance Have we had a price? I haven't seen Xbox a price. One. We close today's show by looking to the future with a really great partner. They've been with us from the earliest days of Project Scorpio, and they're building an incredible game that takes advantage of the power and performance this of the Xbox One better family be Halo. and the new Xbox One X. You better. Please welcome Patrick Sutherland, Executive Vice President, EA Worldwide Studios. Oh. We're not getting, are we getting anything? What did they mention so far? They mentioned quite a few titles to be fair to them, but new nothing IP Halo is the related. the lifeblood of our industry. It's also risky. I'm genuinely EA, good. If I don't see nothing, man, it's going to be nuts. a lot of projects, and only the greatest will make it their way to you. And that's okay. It's all a part of the creative process. And it's worth it because when you find something special, EA is not three four three, man. Feeling as a developer, I haven't seen anything on the price, man. Players to a brand new world. And as a player, there's yeah, no actually, no, 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 no. You, you could be right there. In a completely Tom. new experience. Our developers at Bioware have been creating something truly special. A huge open world that is lush, savage, mysterious, and ever-changing. Filled with interesting characters and I new hope they're trolling with Halo News, man, because I can't take not knowing for years nothing. To come. This is what's possible when we take an extraordinary vision and combine it with the latest technologies and hardware. I, I better be seeing some Halo. Amazing concepts this this was the main reason I streamed it, man, because awesome. Halo. Great ideas become reality. So here we are. And we are so excited to share this with all of you. On behalf of the team at Bioware, let's see what this game looks like. It better be an amazing on game, because if I don't get any hair, I'm going to lose my shit. Here's John Warner from Bioware to show you. And I will, I will literally lose my shit on stream if I don't see anything. <laughs> oh, Anthem. OK, this is the one I saw the trailer for uh, yesterday. Hi, I'm John Warner, game director for Anthem. Here is the world premiere of Anthem's gameplay. Hey. So see, I'm, I'm not going to be happy if I don't see any head of. The first time I've actually seen anything Halo was Halo Wars 2. And that was just to get a 4K update. Listen, dude, if that's as much trouble. as this gets, big trouble. This is going to be a shit E3. Mistake. I mean, this looks I beautiful, though. Don't get me some wrong. People, they weren't freelancers. I know. They said they could handle it, and the price was right. I thought maybe. Unbelievable. You're right. It was stupid. I'm sorry. Unless but they're that, still out there. Oh, I've forgotten the woman's name from 343. Starts walking out the end. I'm. Um, Anything you need. Well, this looks like an interesting In title. the world of Anthem, you and your friends are freelancers. The heroes who leave the safety of the world. This gives me a kind of Tarsus a fallout vibe. To explore the unknown and protect humanity. Let's join two players as they head out on an expedition. Hey, Paul. You ready to go? I'm just grabbing some supplies. Just about ready. What are you going to use today? I decided to go with the Colossus. I'm going to use my Ranger. Yeah, very full of upgrades. And if I don't see anything, then expect a video in the next couple of days on it. And me not being happy. <laughs> it's one thing not giving any. Halo 3 Every anniversary, player will own an array of which is fine. We call Javelin. Ish. These suits but nothing give at all. Superhuman capabilities and are heavily customizable. We're so gonna, they look yeah, well, I'm not gonna be happy. Oh, yeah, hello. Looking good. Nice. You've got a mortar equipped. Yeah, I got it on the weekend. <laughs> you lead the way. I'll follow. <laughs> no, this is just like Iron Man. That's pretty cool looking. This is a vast open world you explore with your friends. 
Each javelin exosuit has its own unique play style. The well, that's, that's pretty sweet looking. In all purpose. While the Colossus is a tanking powerhouse. Ton, uh, to be fair, yeah, they've been saying there was no Halo 3 anniversary. They've, they've, uh, they've mentioned it multiple times. And to be fair, I believe them. But to not give any Halo news at all is the world of Anthem is ridiculous. Hostile, Absolutely ridiculous. Dynamic world where the unexpected is around every corner. And I'm, I'm, I'm... Yeah, he seems like a problem for another day. Oh uh, yeah, man, I'm not going to be happy. The Iron Man thing looks quite cool, though. Some fire from the head. Anthem. I'll go low. You flank. And underwater's the thing. Wow. Holy crud. It's very innovative. In 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 innovative. If, if, if I can't, I can't even say the words. <laughs> Looks like Halo adopted brother. Hang in there. Almost there. The gameplay looks pretty goddamn cool. Wow, that looks actually quite sweet. Graphically looks nice. Have you been in there yet? I haven't. Anybody else looking forward to Destiny 2? Uh, it's been a couple of years now, it does look good, yeah. Plus Hello, good bioware are making it, so who knows? True man, true. This looks like a really nice title. So I don't want to like that spoil this. Anyway, uh, Diamond, anyway, it looks nice. Looks real nice. We're under attack. I think that's part of Prax's mission. You can equip your javelin exosuit with gear that brings devastating power to combat. Reckon I, this guy kick Iron Man's ass? Maybe. Scars down there. Oh, the scars have a heavy. Have time to use that mortar. Wow. Incoming. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Give me some covering fire. There's a bunch more coming in. Okay, I'll get this round. Wow, is this okay? Ho oh, ho! That looks damn sweet. Oh, boy, oh team. come on! He's not good. Yeah, no, that would look quite damn Jerry's good, man. Oh, nice. It looks very, very beautiful. Large-scale world events like Shaper Storms are dynamic and pull you off the beaten path with the promise of new stories to discover. Oh. Warning. Shaper Storm incoming. Okay, actually, let's get some more people. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Just like hey, that. Guys, what's up? Hey, wow. Right behind you. Wow. This might be a title. Might this might be a title worth investing in? Storm is getting crazy. So what are we supposed to do? Fly into it? All right, let's do this. See you on the other side. Our story is out there. Looks a little nuts, man. Looks cool though. Sorry if the sound's going down a bit, guys. It's getting a little bit laggy. I'm gonna... I'm really gonna lose my shit if there's not an announcement, man. It's not looking good, is it, guys? It's not looking good at all. So what we've seen, we've seen Crackdown, Anthem.
Assassin's Creed Origins. The Dragon Ball title. Let's see if Thieves look interesting. Forza 7. I am. Feel true power, but just not the power of 343. Oh, dude, man. Well, guys, I think it's safe to say no Halo. Um, God, I'm annoyed right now. Massively annoyed. Thanks for sticking with me, though. And, um, jeez, that. I didn't want it to end like this, man. I did not want it to end like this, because I'm actually genuinely fucking gutted. And really fucking annoyed at the same time. Massively pissed. I'm, I'm massively pissed off. Guys, um, thanks so much for joining the stream, though. Um, I can't fucking believe it. Guys, um, yeah, yeah. Tartan, thanks for coming. Man, that's fucking me off. Guys, uh, I shall contemplate, probably drop a video on all this in the next couple of days. Have a wonderful night, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed some of the content that you saw. Drop us a like if you want to. Drop us a sub if you want to. Man, really good. See you later, guys. Have a good one. Bye.